everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a 30 minute upper body strength training workout, then you are in the right place. This is going to be a circuit style upper body build and burn. So we're gonna build some muscle and then we have cardio burst thrown out to burn some fat. Okay, so each circuit consists of five moves and we're gonna repeat those moves two times through, have a little break, then circuit two, again, two times through, break, circuit three, two times through, done. You're going to burn out your arms in the best possible way. So let me show you the equipment that I have for the workout today. Okay, so I have quite a few different sizes of dumbbells. I have a set of 15 pound dumbbells, which I am not even sure I'm gonna use those today, but I have them just in case I feel like I need to take it up a notch. Then I have a set of 10, 10 pound dumbbells, which though, that is the weight I'm going to be used for majority of the workout. Then I have a set of five pound dumbbells and three pound dumbbells. The three pounds are really for some front punches that we have. You can do that with no weights at all, but may, or a light set of weights. I wouldn't go too heavy, otherwise you're gonna feel it in your joints. And then I also have my ropeless jump rope because we will be jump roping today. You do not need a jump rope at all, or you can use a regular jump rope. I will also show you how you can take this entire workout low impact. So if you do not feel like jumping today, no worries. I will show you how to do everything without any impact on your joints. So let's get warmed up. Okay, let's step it side to side, arms open and closed. So think of stretching out from your chest and then stretching out from your back when you hug yourself, okay? Engage your core right from the start. So pull your navel up and in and then find your heavy tailbone. So tailbone points down to the floor. So engage your powerhouse throughout this whole workout, yes. This is upper body focus, but you will engage the muscles in your core. Smile, breathe, get your heart pumping, get your blood flowing and your upper body ready for what's to come. Okay, feet go wide, arm by your side. Take a deep breath in and sweep your arms overhead. And exhale, repeat that one more time. Inhale and exhale. Send your arms out to a T and just circle, warming up your shoulders, little arm circle, reverse. Keep your shoulder blades together, warming up your shoulders, your arms. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna show you the first four moves, so the first circuit, and then we'll get started. So our first move will be bicep curls. You will have one weight in each hand, choose your weight wisely. We are going to be in this move for one minute. You'll have a soft bend of your knees, find your core engagement once again, and then arms just bend and extend. You will keep your elbows by your side and focus on squeezing the muscle in the front of your arm to make the bend happen. Then we'll make our way down to the floor for a walking push-up. So you'll take one hand out to the side, arms bent and extend, bring that hand in. Then the other hand out to the side, arms bent and extend, bring that in. You are welcome to take it on your knees. Make sure that you have a nice flat back, same motion, and your entire body will move together. So you wanna think of squeezing your core there, okay? So just keep everything, no dipping your hips up or down. Then we'll make our way back up to standing and we'll do wide bicep curls. Yes, we are going to burn out the fronts of our arms in this circuit. And then we will take it back down into plank position for mountain climbers. You can take this as fast or as slow as you need. Just another nice flat back. Then back up for jump rope. And you can either hop or simply march. Remember, totally up to you with or without a jump rope. I'm gonna start the timer, get a sip of water, and choose what weight you would like to use in your bicep curl. Timer's started, so we have 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab my 10 pound weights. We'll see, feet hip width, soft bent abs in. You have three seconds, two seconds, one, go. Bend and extend. Okay, so this workout is just over 30 minutes. It is just about 33 minutes long. That's it. 30 minutes of your day. 24 hour day, you are focused on you building muscle. Which remember, the more muscle you have in your body, the faster your metabolism is, which means the more food you need to eat, the more fuel your body needs. So make sure that you're eating right building muscle endurance. So we're here for a minute, which means we take this nice and controlled, control on the way up and control on the way down. Do not let the weights pull you. The more mind to muscle connection you get, the better workout you are going to have. Whew, even more efficient. And we don't wanna waste time, never. We're too busy, our time's valuable. So make sure that you're focusing here. Smile, shoulders away from yours. You just have 10 more seconds. Then we're going down into those walking push-ups. Nice controlled biceps already on fire. One more all the way up and all the way down. Okay, set those off to the side. Down to your plank position or on your knees. Go, one hand out, bend, extend, bring that hand in. Other hand. Okay, your elbows are pointing at a nice 45 degree angle behind you. So not directly out to the side. Yes, that's how you protect your body, no injury. Squeeze your hips, navel pulls in. 
and think of squeezing the fronts of your thighs up and away from the floor, no matter what position you're in. Feel it there. Yes. Your corners of your chest. That's your focus here. Great job. You have 20 more seconds. So choose the level you're taking. Try not to quit. Just modify or rest. You can always pause at the top to find your rest. When you pull everything in, you have eight more seconds. Take it one more each side. Yes, one more. That's it, hop it up, wide curl. Sticking with my 10 pounds, here we go. Bend and extend. Yes, we're moving quick. Right through this circuit. This is already move three of five, round one. And we smile. So you're just working your biceps from a little different angle. Elbows still by your side. It's just a wide bicep curl. Again, focus on the muscle. Maybe you close your eyes so you can really feel the squeeze and tightening coming from the fronts of your arms. Yes, 25 seconds. My arms are on fire. This 10 pounds are feeling extremely heavy. Remember, you can always drop set, which means you quickly set these heavy weights down and grab a lighter set. But no break, you just quickly transition. Eight seconds, so a few more, and then we're down into the mountain climbers. All the way up, all the way down. Set those down. Plank position, here we go, knee, knee. Okay, remember, take this as fast or as slow as you need to, but you wanna think of pressing your hands directly underneath your shoulders, space between your shoulder blades, pull your navel up towards your spine. Chin up your chest so you look a few feet in front of you. Yes, you smile, you breathe. A little bit tighter, a little bit stronger. Working your heart rate up, getting your heart rate up, but you're also strengthening your arms because your body weight is in your upper body. You're just slightly tapping your feet behind you every time. Breathe through this. Yes, 15 seconds. When then no break, we're coming right up to jump rope. Beautiful. One more move and round one, circuit one is done. One more knee each side. Great job. Okay, up to standing. Here we go. Remember, you can always march it out if you're not jumping today, and that's fine. That's still an amazing workout. You do you. Maybe you start out with a few marches just to give your heart a little break. And then you join me here. 40 seconds left. Yes. And then we're repeating the circuit one more time. Every move is only completed two times through. So give it your all. Push through, knowing you only have to do them twice. Woo! Keep going. Nice work. 20 seconds, and then we're going into bicep curls. So you'll set your jump rope down and grab your weights for bicep curls. You might need to take it down a level because you're getting tired. Your arms are wearing out, but that's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, set those down. I'm grabbing 10 pounds. Here we go. Bend and extend. Elbows by your side. Whew. Your palms are facing forward. Yes. Breathe in. Remember, navel pulls up towards your rib cage. Tailbone's heavy toward the floor. You're engaging through your midsection, keeping yourself upright so you're not leaning back or forward. Everything's nice and in line. Body alignment is so important. It keeps everything happy, prevents you from injury. That's why I'm always talking about proper form. It's the best way to get stronger and healthier. You don't wanna strengthen one part of your body only to injure the other. No, it's a full body workout, full body focus. Even though we're really isolating the upper body today. That's it, set it down, down to the floor, walking push-ups. Here we go, one arm goes out, bend, extend, arm in, other arm, out, bend, extend, arm in. Remember, you can always come down to your knees as needed, but maybe you try you up on your toes. Nice work. 
You are amazing. Corners of your chest. That's what's screaming at you, but also pull your navel up and away and tuck your hips under. And remember, squeeze through your thighs. You're staying in one straight line, chin off your chest, breathe oxygen into muscles that are working. Beautiful work. You have 10 more seconds. So only a few more here, and then no more walking push-ups. One more, just to even it out. Yes, okay, up to standing. Woo, wide bicep curls. Yes. So now your heart rate can come down ever so slightly. It's high, and it's gonna stay there pretty much the entire time we're working in each circuit. But don't forget, you will get a break here in just a couple of minutes. Yes, you'll have a minute break between each circuit. We are here for it. You have 30 more seconds. Burn out your biceps from a different angle. Your tailbone's heavy as if there's weight pulling it down. Maybe that helps to contract in your core a little more. Wow, these weights are heavy. My biceps on fire. You only have 10 more seconds though. So maybe you slow it down on the way up. Now you slow down on the way down. Five more seconds. That's it. Set the weights down. Plank position, mountain climbers, go. Okay, you're here for a minute. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Press your palms into the floor, drop them underneath your shoulders, chin off your chest. You're finding strength in your upper body and your core. Breathe through the work. It's tight, it's controlled. Then we're coming up for our final move of circuit one. And that's when you get your break after. You have 25 seconds on the clock. Maybe go a little faster, a little stronger. You're just lightly tapping your toes behind you. Weight is in your upper body. Breathe, smile, space between your shoulder blades. Navel pulls in, you have 10 seconds. You don't get a break yet. We're coming right up to jump rope. One more each way. That's it. Come to standing. Grab your jump rope. Here we go. Okay, remember, if you need to, you can always march. But after this, you have 50 more seconds of jump rope, then you get a one minute break. So maybe, just maybe, you can push a little harder because you know you get a break after this. Go get a sip of water. Breathe. You're doing it. Smile, shoulders away from your ears, elbows by your side. Arms 90 degree angle. Yes, jumping rope also burns out your arms. That's why I love adding these little cardio bursts in here. It's an arm burnout, as well as a cardio. Love her. It's good for your heart. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, done. One minute. First circuit done. You are already third of the way through this work. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next four moves. First move, you're back on the floor. You can either be on your knees or on your toes, wherever you choose. Tricep push up. Elbows graze your body, and then you press up, okay? So elbows behind you, same motion as a regular push-up entire body's moving okay then you hop up to standing and we'll do tricep kickbacks nice flat back here arms just extend and bend and then we'll come down to the floor a couple options you can be right here on your side and arm just lifts and lowers you can come up to your forearm same thing or press it all the way up to your hand this is the most advanced level okay then we will make our way up for front punches and jump rope that's it Get down, push up position. You have three seconds, two, one, go. Bend and extend. Okay, you're in it. We are going to burn out our triceps in this circuit. I'm starting on my toes, but a minute is a long time to do tricep push ups. So maybe you push through a little bit here. Yes. And 
and maybe you come down to your knees halfway through. We're at 35 seconds to go. I'm gonna try to get a few more. Okay, I feel my form going, so I'm coming to my knees, and I just bend and extend. But my entire body is moving in one line. That's the most important. Lean into the palms of your hands. Elbows graze your side body as if you're holding a playing card between your armpit and you gotta keep it tight. Yes. Nice work. Let's take it one more. Okay, come up to standing. Try some kickbacks. I have 10 pounds. Here we go. Extend and bend. Yes. Okay, on the extension, you try to hold it there for a brief second at your straightest arm point. So think length over height every time. Nice work. You just give it a little hold and then bend. That's where you're going to feel the contraction in the back of your arms. We're working to even out all the bicep work we did in circuit one. Now we're working our triceps, back of our arms, everything. Evening out here. Round one, circuit two. You're in it and you're doing amazing. Squeeze a few more and we're making our way down to the floor. Take it one more. Okay, make your way down to the floor, choose your position. I'm coming up here, most advanced, here we go. Arm open and close. Open, I'm actually going to make my way down to my forearm. Yes, just feels a little more comfortable and I'm switching to five pound weight. This is just intense. And I wanna make sure that my form stays correct. Nice work. So you should feel this in your upper back, no matter what position you are with your lower body. Yes, nice little rotation at the bottom, and then you open up. So think close, and then open. Just about 20 more seconds. Nice work. You don't need a lot of weight in this position because it puts so much isolated work on your upper back when you are down on the floor like this. Take it one more. Yes. Okay. Punches. I'm grabbing my three pound weights. Here we go. Nice work. Okay. Remember, when you're punching, you don't want to extend your arm fully. You're catching it on that three quarter of a bend. So you're going to feel this in your tricep and your bicep. So think front and back of your arms, as well as your chest and your shoulders. Of course, your heart rate's going to skyrocket in these final two moves of circuit two. You're almost done with round one, circuit two. So we just have one more round. Woo! Arms on fire, as they should be. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Eyes are closed, focusing on the here and now. You have soft bend of your knees to protect your joints. 10 seconds. And we're grabbing our jump rope. Five, four, three, two, one more each way. Great job. Okay, remember, you can march or jump with me. I'm jumping here. Yes. Always remember your options. Always remember four most important. That's how you prevent injury. One more round here. These moves. One more time through. And then we're going on to our final circuit. You've made it so far. Nice work. After this, you're halfway through this workout. You're amazing. You're here for it. You have 20 more seconds. So maybe you are marching and you want to try the jump with us. This is the time to do so. Shoulders away from yours. Nice. 90 degree bend in your elbows. You have 10 seconds. Then we're going down to try some push ups right away. That's it. Okay, down to the floor. Tricep push ups. Hands underneath your shoulders, fingers forward, elbows bend and extend. I'm going to try a few here on my toes. And as soon as I feel my form going, I will come down to my knees. But why not push through and try? Nothing changes in your comfort zone, so step out of it here with me. Push 
Push it up. You got it. Okay, I'm coming down to my knees. Here we go. Beautiful. Remember, no matter what position you're in, elbows graze your side body. Weight goes into your arms every time. Nice flat back. Navel pulls in. Squeeze your glutes. Yes. Take it one more down and up. Okay, grab your weights. Tricep kickbacks, here we go. Send and bend. This is it here for your isolated tricep work. Keep going. We're in this together. Remember, you pause ever so slightly on that extension. Glutes behind you. Navel pulled in, so reconnect. You have 30 more seconds. Your entire arm is going to feel like jello after this workout. Elbows by your side, pointing behind you. You have 20 seconds here. 15 seconds. Yes, navel pulls up just a little bit tighter. Last one. Okay, make your way down to the floor. I'm coming onto my forearm. Arm opens and closes. Yes. Okay, remember, take whatever level you did on the other side and you're doing it here. Yes, nice work. So it's very isolated upper back work. That's why I love to work in this position. And you have a little rotation toward the floor every time. Pull your navel up and away. You have 30 more seconds. And we're hopping up into the front punches. Nice work. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Opening everything up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your upper back. Yes. Five more seconds. Let's take it one more. Beautiful. Okay, hop up. Three pound weights. Here we go. Okay, or no weight at all. We're punching. Woo! Arms are on fire. These front punches have gotten that much harder. So if you need to drop your weight, do so. Remember, listen to your body. That's the most important thing you can do for you to get healthier and stronger. We're building muscle, building strength. Nice work. Close your eyes. You have 30 more seconds on the clock. And then we're going to jump rope. Then you get your break. And then just one final circuit to burn it all out, to put a check on your upper body. 15 seconds. Yes. Keep punching. Keep going. You're strong. You're 10 seconds. Four, three, two. One more each way, set them down, grab your jump rope. Okay, final minute of circuit two. Then you get a one minute break, so push through. Just when you're tired, you tell yourself you're unstoppable and you're gonna stay with me till the end, because you will. After this, after your next one minute break, we start circuit three, it's only 10 minutes. You will be two thirds of the way already. So you're getting close. You're not gonna give up on you. You versus you. Yes, keep going, keep hopping, or marching, whatever you are at. Be proud. Guess what, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, and then you get a break. Push through it a little stronger. Five, four, Three, two, one. That's it. Set them down. Sip of water. Final five moves coming right up. Okay, we have arm presses. So you start arms at 90, weight towards your face, and you open, press, down, and close. Okay, and then right into upright rows. Your weights, your palms face you. No bend in the wrist. Keep everything nice and in line and tight. Okay? 
Then lateral raises out to the side, shoulders away from the ears. Then we come down to the floor. You have a couple options. You can come into your pike position and bend and extend or take this into donkey kicks for a little more cardio. It'll work your shoulders either way and then end with your jump rope. Okay, 10 more seconds of break. Choose your weight for Arnold presses. I'm doing 10s. Four, three, two, one, go. Press, down, round in. Yes, okay, so chest and shoulders here. Nice work. Arms are not coming any lower than 90 degrees. That keeps the work in your upper body. Breathe through it. I might drop set. I'm gonna try to stick with these tens a little bit longer, but my arms are tired. I'm sure yours are too. Okay, I'm quickly changing. That's a drop set. No time wasted. Just quick change out. But I knew my form was gonna go. And that is most important. My body's tired. It's been working here for over 20 minutes. Your muscles are on fire. Yes. One more full set. Round it in. Okay, now I'm switching back to my hands. Upright rows, palms face in. So the heads of my weights are pressing together. You're trying not to bring a bend or a break in your wrists. You're bringing your hands up to chest tight. You're gonna feel this in the corners of your chest as well as your shoulders. Navel pulls in. Might have to drop set here as well. Woo! Everything is just screaming at me, but in the best possible way. My upper body is on fire. I'm certainly building muscle, building strength and endurance, which is what we wanted here in this workout. Squeeze in, 20 seconds, I might be able to make it, yes, now for lateral raises, I'm going down to my five pounds and maybe possibly even my three at some point, nice work, one more, okay, set those down, lateral raises, here we go, lift and lower, okay, so arms are going out to that T position. I have a slight bend in my elbow. The more bend you have in your elbow, the less resistance. So if you need to, you can always bring your arms to 90 degree angles and lift and lower from there. The longer the lever, the more resistance it places on the body part you're working. Smile. Yes. Again, try to pause at the top and then slowly lower down. Don't just let them fall down. Building muscle, as we age, is so important because our body wants to lose muscle, but we won't let it. These are working hard and we're building those muscles. And that keeps us from falling, keeps our metabolism going so that our metabolism doesn't slow as we age. So we keep putting on muscle so our metabolism actually revs up as we get older. Last one, hold it, slow, lower down. Okay, so down into pike position. You can either do donkey kicks or Pike push-ups. It works the same body part. Yes, one more move and round one, circuit three is done. You're so close. You're right there. That finish line. Woo! Let's do this. Stronger together. In it till the end. 25 seconds. That's it. Pull your navel in before your hips lift up. And all the weight is going in your upper body. Or you're doing pipe push-ups. You have 10 more seconds. This moves hard, but it's worth it. Do one more. Woo! Here you go. Jump rope. One minute here. And then we have one more time through. Less than six minutes of work. You can and you will. Who would have thought jumping rope feels like a break? But it does, after those donkey kicks. Wow, my entire upper body 
is toast. It's done for the day. Yes, 30 seconds. Right here. Heart rate's getting high. It's staying high for this final last round coming up. Push through because after that, you know the workout's done. Shoulder blades stay together, elbows by your side. Nice work. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Set them down. Here we go. Try and tens. Let's go. Arnold presses. Breathe. Yes. Bring oxygen to your working muscles. Know that this is the last time through all of these moves. You are definitely gonna feel your upper back, your chest, your shoulders here. You're at the 30 second mark. Maybe you're gonna drop set or you push through a little bit longer. Yes, try and push through as long as my form will allow. 15 seconds, nice work. Upper back, shoulders, chest. Five seconds. One more. That's it. Okay, upright rows. Let's go. Lift and lower. Yes. Nice work. Try not to break in the wrist. Everything moves in one solid motion. Woo! Nice work. Three more moves after this. Breathe, recheck your form. Is your navel still pulled up and in towards your rib cage? Tailbone still pulled in tight toward the floor. Yes. And we smile. Slow, controlled, so we work into every part of the muscle. No momentum. That's why we're in each move for one minute. So that we can work through a little deeper every time. Almost through, you have five more seconds. Take it one more up and slow on the way down. Switching weights, five pounds, here we go. Open and close. Two more moves after this. On this, you really wanna make sure that you're connected with your core so that your body isn't swaying forward or backward, it's staying stable. Shoulders over your hips, hips over your ankles, and soft bend of your knees. At this point in the workout, we can smile because we've made it this far. So put a big old smile on your face and be proud of all the hard work you've done today, of all the strength you've built in your upper body. Remember, this is the muscle that's going to keep your body healthy and strong and fit and young. We can fight aging. We can reverse the aging process. And we're doing that here on my channel between the strength workouts and the rebounding workouts. Last one, hold it at the top. Three, two, one, slow, lower into pike position. You have options, here we go. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm not sure these donkey kicks can last for the full minute, but we'll see. Whole navel up and away every time. Gaze back at your feet so that you have space in your neck. So you're not crunching your neck. Yes, three seconds. Wow, we made it halfway in this move. And then just one more move after this. One more minute after this. Keep going. 15 seconds. That's it. I'm kicking. Staying strong. 10 seconds. Navel pulls in. Think about that first. One more. Woo! Final jump rope. Let's do it. Yes. Final minute. Right here with me. Nothing to lose. You made it so far. Only everything to gain. The strength and the courage to keep pushing through. You showed yourself and just how strong you were today in this workout with me. This wasn't easy, 
but you are unstoppable and you're amazing. 30 seconds. And the clap. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your legs, shoulder blades together. Upper back working. Elbows by your side, 20 seconds. Just little bounces off the balls of your feet. 15 seconds. Chin up, chest is proud. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. 32 minutes of upper body work. Wow, that was intense. Woo! But you did that. You just did that. Woo! Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep moving. Let your heart rate come down slowly. Get that sip of water, and we'll do a quick little cool down. This one's just quick. So you might want to head on over, do one of my mobility stretch cool down videos. Trust me, the work, recovery, rest are just as important as each other. It needs to be a well-rounded fitness routine. Okay, let's just end how we started with opening and closing. Yes, your upper body's gonna definitely feel different this time around. A little more tired. Okay, bring your arms out of your side, take a deep breath in our super overhead, and exhale. Do that again. Inhale and exhale. Thank you all for joining me today. That was amazing. You are amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this workout. Like and subscribe. Many more workouts are always coming to this channel. So join me back here each and every day. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.